Oh, we are being fountain camped again by Ark Warden, aren't you? Deary me, it only seems to happen to you. He's quite the annoying prick, isn't he? He's got his scepter and his octarine, and now he's spamming spark rates from all the way outside your base. It feels impossible to do anything, and your team is stuck in an endless cycle of respawning and instantly dying from the dozens of raids in your fountain. I've been there myself a fair few times, I get you. The situation feels hopeless, as no one in your team can take a step before being vaporized. You could buy an Yules and use it on yourself as soon as you spawn and clear out some of the raids but he has 100% uptime on his ultimate, so the raids will never stop coming. While you wait for the game to end, let me tell you about the Zed's weakness. It's multiple targets. A brood mother can walk up to him, start hitting him, and kill him without him being able to do much, except TP out and hope to survive. Naga Siren and Phantom Lancer are equally effective against him, the many illusions overwhelm Zet. Anti Mage will win a 1v1 with Zet unless Zet has a scythe and gets the jump on AM. However, these options overlook the main point that Arc Warden spamming raids in the enemy fountain could be you. You too can be so dominant that you are able to prevent your enemies from ever leaving their spawn. You could have the incredible power of completely shutting down the opposition, if only you learned the secrets of the Ark Warden. You could have 50,000 or more net worth, while everyone else in the game has 30,000 or fewer. You can be as powerful and destructive as a natural calamity. You are the third team after Radiant and Dire. You are so intelligent and powerful, you have willed yourself into existence to destroy the Radiant and the Dire. Your abilities allow you to create perfect clones of yourself on demand. You are a splinter of the primordial origin. Let the great unification commence.